Ottawa and this bomb caught Rock Dealy Des. It's like what I said, Director Tosama. We're here for what I think is the finale of Gundam. Um, but yeah, uh, uh well, yeah, whatever. Anyways, yes, <laughs> we're at a convergence where they've destroyed every, well, they're destroying everything, and Saleta, uh is a target in sight with glass. Like, there's nothing protecting her right now. So if they want to sneak her right now, I don't, I don't know what, what it would be. Or if, since this girl, since this girl Sophie wants to see her, like, wouldn't she want her to get into the goddamn mobile suit? Hypothetically, it depends how you view her as a competition. So we'll see. Rival. Yeah. One thing I didn't talk about is how, because uh, usually when I, usually when someone gaslights themselves, you don't support them, right? And you can't vibe with them how they fall into doubt and you know whatnot, right? But in Sledda's case, the entire way, even though I was like, why are you saying that? No one's, no one is saying that about you. I could understand it, and I couldn't judge her for it, right? And I had to also remember in between episodes, it was the dude who she was talking to in the previous episode that added that little spark of doubt. Oh yeah, for sure. He yeah. gaslighted the hell out of her. She, yeah, she, and then because she's kind of naive and trusting, right? She started, she started seeing the signs that were confirming what he already told her, who she is perceiving as operating in her best interest. And that's how all this happened. So in her case, she's not even a person that started making this up out of nowhere. She was fine living her life. Someone gaslit her. She was like, no, 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 that can't be true. Then she sees the first sign of proof for the gaslighting that she heard and then boom, everything went downhill. Don't forget before she ran into him, right? There was already that feeling of disconnect between oh, her and this one. And then Just he, a little bit. And, and then, then he, he truly, truly, it was like there was, the fire was built. There was a little bit of fluid on it. But he definitely was the one that like lit the match and walked away. Yeah, and I then, agree with and that. And then as soon as she walked into her, like the gas, like 100 feet of gaslighting, bro, within 100 feet. That's why you can't smoke in a school zone, bro. <laughs> That's why they say you got to be at least 100 feet away because she just walked up too soon and that thing caught fire, bro. All right. This is jumping to the reaction. I don't, I don't even have a, a pitch. I, I, I got nothing to say. <laughs> you not pitch none? Yeah, nah, man. Just support us, man. Y'all know the deal. We love y'all. <laughs> Gundam is starting. <laughs> closed oh. off. <sighs> Help me, Jordan Sparks. It was buffing uh, Miss Mariana's. Oh wait, nah, she, I, I, she's short stack. I decided that like four episodes ago, she's always stacked. So let her know, they pick and choose. That mobile suit. Oh. So she'll kill her. Oh man. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Huh, Holy yeah, bro. shit. I'm telling you, always. Yeah. Absolutely. The girl will come to us. Battle one. It's war. They can't. I'll pilot one? Hey, I'll make a monkey out of him. That's what you want to say. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. Oh my, they're dead. They just died, didn't they? Never mind, I can't tell what they're showing. Oh no, they got some stuff out. Oh. Which one is coming? Yeah, you don't want to run off earlier, and now you worried about it. Oh my god. But they're gonna get faded. Ah oh my god, I feel the stakes in this battle, bro. I really fucking do. Did he not? Damn. 
Oh boy. The fucking music choice and everything. Oh, premise score too. It's a fucking Gundam, bro. It's a fucking Gundam, baby. <laughs> ha, I love it. The language too. See, Ariel goes up to six, boy. And this is a fucking whatever. You heard the sound too. Now it's not. Oh, it's gonna work. Huh. Fuck off me. I ain't gonna lie, I'm always gonna root for these Gundams, even though I know they're kind of evil. Oh no. Oh, she got control of it. This is insane, too. He's basically a child of soldiers. Yeah. yeah. I didn't have the right words of articulating it earlier. Oh my god. Oh my god. We, we, dead. Three. Jeez, bullets. This is the first episode I started supporting getting rid oh, of the witches. You're not allowed to use physical ammo. They'll use a fit the cows on them. Hell yeah, talk about it. Polluted earth and ran. Goddamn spatians. That's why they feel like they're so better. They have cleaner air because Earth got fucked up. Oh, shit. Jeez. It waxed that whole squad easily. Remember talking about the witches at the end, bro? Yeah. It finally clicked this episode, bro. Oh, you didn't realize how bad it was. Let me actually just take a pause. Let me take a pause. Can you reach a point? Yes. 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 This is the episode where I realized how bad it was, right? Because everyone else is using like legal, ethical means of fighting, right? And they're just getting fucked up because this person is willing to destroy their body, right? Mm -hmm. So then in an arms race, the only way to get ahead is to build technology that fucks up your own people. And it's like, we've gotten so far into war, like we can't do that. Like we have to agree, it's like weapons of mass destruction, like news. We have to agree, we're gonna keep building weapons, but not in this direction. We can't fuck up our best fighters, pilots, as a means of power like let's agree on maximizing our ai maximizing our pilots and stuff like that but not fucking them up self-destruction is not going to be the way do we all agree on that yeah that's yeah, a yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's, okay. the yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the entire argument yeah yeah that's the entire argument the cathedral treaty that's the entire cathedral treaty is like nah we can murder each other with mobile suits all we want but the moment you start sacrificing lives and take lives that's not fair anymore that was a, I heard him and I was like... Yeah, you shouldn't have to compete by sacrificing your soldiers. That's kind of BS. But you have to because the other person is doing it. So now you just don't do it. By the way, the Rules so of you, War is, another, is written yeah. by whoever's strong. I'm just saying, this is the episode where I saw it. It's like, damn. Like, that's the only reason they lost. Cause she's, and she's not going to be around another, I don't know, five more battles. This is it. So it's constant uh, 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 supply of kids or whoever that's, that's gonna get thrown to the wayside. It's like, yo, we can't live like that. This is this is bad, guys. Now I'm understanding it. Not saying what I agree with whoever, now I understand why it was so severe watching it happen like this. And it's and uh, the key point is, from my understanding, it's only if your permit score doesn't get locked in. And that's what we witnessed. She's like, holy shit, it hurts. And then it locked in, she's like, okay, thank God. And then she went right back to bodying him. That's what it is. It's every time you jump like scores, from my understanding, I could be wrong on that. Every time you jump scores, you get higher and higher. It's like, yeah, the strain on your body gets worse. Agreed, However, yes. if you can like lock in and like be good, the, the, it goes away. So that's why there's certain pilots like, uh, Shawty here, I don't know. I don't remember what her mama's permit score got up to, but I remember it was setting. It was setting pretty decent. I was like, oh shit, she's really pushing it. They're like at four and six and shit, so mm it's interesting to see. Okay. <laughs> Who's with her dad now? Am I tripping? Someone protected her with their body. <sighs> oh, he did. Oh. She's not gonna leave him. I see. He's not gonna make the same mistake. Decision mother and father made. 
I was someone sacrificed for her. Dad. I really thought Delling was supposed to be a person to hate. <laughs> oh shit. Damn, bro. He really sent the Black Ops team in. Oh, he has to have a trace on a security. Yeah. Look at this hole in the back right. Real bullets. Physical ammunition. I see the significance of Earth and physical bullets. Girl. I was just thinking, I'm like, are they taking her out on purpose? They all saw it. No, oh, just this nigga. Thank God. Nikita, you gotta kill him. He knows too much. Just toss him in the space with no helmet. I had to actually root for this other stepdad, not dad. Today, right now. But he still wants to kill Delhi. They still have more. This Gundam is gonna have to solo. Ariel's gonna have to solo. Yeah. Doesn't even have cooperation with anybody. Oh no. Oh no. He heard Gundam and he went to action. Yo. What could he be willing to do? Yeah. He's not gonna let nothing happen to her, I guess. Come on, Bob! Nah, he's that dude, bruh. Now him and his father gonna be out there. They had mobile suits this whole time? Oh my God, oh my God. I have way too much anxiety, I have to stop talking. Got his arm shot off. He thinks he's talking to a homie. He'll realize the bad people are using his trucks. Oh boy. We? What you about to do? Is that his dad or am I tripping? Oh. Who was piloting it's it? It's gonna be his dad, bro. Oh, he literally did end up missing, bro. The dad didn't. His dad almost killed him too, didn't know. How dare you use my company's mobile suits? And he's just going after all of them. Oh my God, bro. When it all marinates, it's sick. And he was relieved to know his son was alive. How are you gonna get to it then? How is she gonna get to Ariel? Her mama, bruh. The truth her of freaking mama and company. Get to it, baby girl. Get to it. The boy. Her mama, man. <laughs> what a villain with the toolie still out. I shall boo. Go ahead with the good music. You're gonna have to kill some people too. Yeah, cross the line. It's not a duel, this is a real life. Oh my god, bro. Oh, she's not. The show? The show? Oh my god! Oh my god, bro. But the mom is right, right now. She's right. Like this girl, she has to move forward. She has to cross the line of blood. The symbolism is off the charts. It's amazing. It's amazing cinematography, but 
No, yo, damn, I'm with the dun, dun, dun. If I didn't murder these people, baby girl, you would have died too. Now you gotta go murder everybody outside. It's inevitable. Look, mama had to do it. Me and you, Miss Morian, we'll be together forever. Just go murder these people. Oh, nigga. <laughs> it's because they set mom up like mom's the hero. That's the beef. There it is. Oh, you know what? Oh, the out of the fence came out quick. Oh? <laughs> Falcon! Out the smoke! She got a mama. She talking some shit. Those poor Earthians. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Look I heard go. Yes. Scores get pushed. Yeah, baby. Did Ariel tell her that stuff? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be two on one now. It's gonna be two on one. Her against two freaking Gundams. Don't Insane. Matter. Oh, she don't want help. Oh, they got a shot in. Damn, you don't work. Legs gone. Oh my lord. It's not meant for combat. That's not meant for combat? <laughs> oh, you're gone. You're gone. Delling lives, hopefully. Oh, hopefully. Yada, yada. From my understanding, he wasn't even supposed to pull up, pull up this quick. They actually found a way to end this episode. Failed. And she didn't have to murder nobody. I guess it's 13 episodes, but okay. Wow, bruh. Wow. Look at this shit. Yo, honestly, crazy. yeah, yours is actually crazy, epic. bro. This episode gave him goosebumps. Crazy. You know why you felt this so much? The battle, there's a lot of struggle. Well, they did a lot of showing, showcasing the stakes, bruh. People dying, man sacrifices himself for his daughter. I love the callback. You choose a path that gets your, the, some type of su survival. That means, Something happened to the mom that she possibly could have lived and they chose they chose the, the guaranteed route. That's how I took his conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you got, I ain't gonna do that. That's cowardly shit, whatever. So I feel like Delling and his daughter are both just gonna survive. Yeah. Cause she's not gonna do what her parents did. Yeah. But maybe her parents did what was needed to be done, by the way. But that's besides the point. We'll never know. It we'll could have been know. one of those things like, if we all go, there's a 40% chance. But if y'all two just go, it's a 70% chance. And yeah. they're like, yeah, we gonna do that. Yeah. Um, so you felt the stakes, man. People does people people just getting lit up. Like sometimes I laugh on other shows, and people are like, "Oh, you're so fucked up." I didn't laugh at this show because, in my opinion, they set a whole tone that this is not comedy. No one's going extra and beyond. This is just pure horror, and it's not freaking funny. It's two random guys are just having a conversation. Boop, boop. Done, bro. So you felt like, oh shit, this is serious. Mom killed people in front of her daughter. That whole conversation made absolute sense, and let you know. Saleta's innocent, man. She's wholesome. She's not about killing people. Completely innocent. And she's mom never seen that side of her mom. Mom, mom mentally broke her as far as I'm concerned. Gaslit her in that moment. Who? Ariel, bro. Threw it like that? Like that? What'd you say? What'd you say? Did it kill nobody? Oh, she's not ready for this. I don't even know what to do with this. Not 
This show is crazy. I didn't know. No. That's how you fucking do it. That's how you fucking do it. Yeah, forget everything I said about the comedy. Forget about everything I said about that. That, that shit was hilarious. That was cinematically Beautiful! Yo, she busted in. I'm over here thinking it's gonna be one shot, take him out or something. She's like, no, you fucking don't! Flam! What we learned from Baki? We learned from Baki. What's the worst thing? Hit the biggest organ in the human body. You slapping nigga. Yo, the drop it. <laughs> Such a clutch. She in the blood, nigga. She playing in the blood, nigga. Talk about, let me help you. Yo, the space. Yo, the space picking the blood up off the bloody hand. Look what your mama has created. Nigga, the symbolism, the cinematography. Yo, fuck your favorite show. It's the merch from what you, it's this hoe. That's crazy. That's, that's one of the greatest finales I've ever seen. Such a shock. I love how, I love, I love how they had you really believe she wasn't going to kill nobody. She wasn't going to kill nobody. She didn't have to. First, they had you believe she was going to kill somebody. And then it's like, oh, she's oh, not. Oh, she didn't have to. She just had to drive just it off. Just busts through. And the thing is, the thing is, can we agree? She could have used hypothetically I the bits. Like, I thought she was going to shoot him or something. And then I'm like, right? oh, okay. Boom. And, and if she had just got out, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, oh, my God. She got out happy-go-lucky. <laughs> That's such a crazy. <laughs> No, she's like, like, yo. That's what, so I'm so glad I said it out loud. Thank you, Lord. I don't hold back on reactions. I said, I feel like mom mentally broke her in that moment. If you look at the moment where she has to deal with the, her mom catching four bodies for her right in front of her, she crosses that blood threshold. She, her eyes don't really look like she's there, but she understands the assignment. And we've seen mom gaslight her into doing things multiple times. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. This is what you created. I also think she perceives her mom as basically perfect. So mom can do no wrong. So, Mom's always so doing as right. as mom did this. By the way, I don't, I don't even think mom did anything wrong by killing these men. By the she way, did, she did. She In fact, did. I don't even think Celeste did anything wrong just now. It's just it's just how she processed it is questionable. But her mom is so perfect after she just made murder like. Okay. Nothing to think about, so to speak. Even though it wasn't murder, it was actually killing when the mother did it. Um, the manager just, oh, okay, this is just normal. Like, you gotta do it to save someone that you love, and you do have to do it for someone that you love. Debatable, I believe that. But to feel like that okay about it, because uh, even a normal person would be like cold, whatever. But you heard the mama's voice. Yeah, I had to do this shit just to protect you. So she's just going on with the same positive positivity her mom just taught her. Oh my freaking God, bro. Oh my freaking God. And one is also making a distinction not to be like her parents. Yeah. Miss Moriano is making a distinction not to be like her parents. And Saleta is like, no, nah, I'm- I'm gonna be exactly like my mama. And after everything that they just came together, honestly, I know, I know this is not a mature take. What I'm about to say is not a mature take. But I'm a little pissed at Miss Morian as her first response is to call her murder. No, nah, I'm with oh, you. Oh, under the no, circumstances. It's mature. No, it's mature. Okay. It's mature. I already, okay. I already, okay. Shadow, I already shadow box everybody. Okay. When handle Ari it. Handle it. When then. Ariel busts into the room, there's a clear moment where the dude looks at Ariel and he's like, well, fuck it, I'm doing it anyways. Fuck it, we ball. He was going to shoot them anyways. That's why she said, oh, no, you fucking By don't. By the way, Ariel's mad fast. Ariel's mad That's fast. very fast. Faster than, speed faster than he could just shoot in two seconds. He was, seconds he was shocked. Carpet. He was shocked. He looked away, and then there's a moment where you see, and it's from his point of view, it's from Mioran's point of view, he turns back around. And the arm is already and done. That's, and that's when she says, oh no, you don't. She, Lightning fast. She cannot, I don't like that she called her a murderer. I can understand why she can feel that way. Me the too. instant smash, the blood splatter on her face, and I know she ain't seen nothing like that. She's been protected her whole life, ain't never had to deal with nothing like that. I can understand her shock and all that. Even her calling her a murderer, when you said that out of shock, you understand the situation. That man's gonna kill y'all. You have to understand You that. and your daddy. You and your daddy. There's no way you can, it's okay that you call her a murderer. However, given the shock and all of the entire situation, I understand. But I don't like that she called her a murderer. That's, she saved her life. Thank she you. saved your life. She can't be a murderer. She's a defender of justice. Thank you, brother. You 100%. said it's not a mature thought. I feel like if somebody, I feel like you could be mad at the whole thing, 
But if you think that her calling her murderer is justified, I vehemently disagree. And I think that's the mature way to look at it. If you was watching the same show, that man was going to shoot them. It was horrible how she did me personally. I'm spraying him up. It seemed it was really violent with the hand smash because you get the splatter and all that. But like, there's no clean way to kill somebody. I don't care what you say. Unless you're going to be like Dexter and like leak them out in a plastic bag. There's no such thing as a clean way to arguably, kill somebody, bro. That, arguably, that was the most inhumane way to do it, even though he suffered like not he didn't suffer at all because he splattered but like he can't have a funeral to a lot of religions he can't go to the afterworld bro because he's stuck in purgatory hypothetically <laughs> you know like i'm not even making a joke i'm just trying to hit like how people are going to put this it, it, and so her first response is murderer so like, i i i i know the group by the way so that's why i said y'all y'all got me y'all got me but this is this is this is my truth yeah. i know exactly who the group is that that's gonna have this take. Yeah. And I think you understand too, we don't have beef with Miss Morian. It's reasonable with the shock that it's she said that. It's very reasonable. But it's like, damn, bro. It's like, she just saved you. And like, to that's not the first word she needs to hear. But, I saw okay. two unreasonable young people in a situation they shouldn't be in. Yeah. I can understand why, I can understand why Saleta, it seems so cool, calm, whatever about it, like nonchalant, because it's a shock. As far as I'm concerned, she's under mom's genjutsu and she's in a shock, in a state of shock herself. I don't think oh, she- Oh, I think she's also in a state of yeah, shock. I, I love that, I, I don't love think, that. I don't think she can quite comprehend. She just fell into a human adult's pool of blood and like, if it was up to her, she said, I'm such a klutz. If it was up to her, she would just jumped over it and not been bloody at all. And it's one of those things, it's such a state of shock, catching your first body. And a lot of people, ooh, this makes me sound like a killer. The f it's like the first time you lost your virginity, first time you lose, sometimes you, it's like, it's like a moment you're like, is this really happening? Oh my God, this is happening. Oh my God, it's happening. I can imagine, take that, apply it to like murdering someone and the shock that you could potentially go through. And I can understand why she's like, ha, 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 I'm just looking past it. Come on, let's get out of here. But later on, she's gonna have to deal with that. I think she's gonna have to deal with it. I also think, which is basically what you're describing, she just displayed a massive ability to compartmentalize. Because yeah. once her mama gave her a talking piece, loved ones over anything, in order to do this as a defense mechanism as well, you 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 gotta just, nope, loved ones over anything. La, 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 I just did that. Yup, I'm coming to save you. Because uh, you needed that level of gangster to act. To even you gotta, act. To even you know how many other MCs I would attack for like, yo, how did you hesitate? She did not fucking hezzy, bro. That's why on so many levels as well, she works her way to become one of the most uh, uh, admirable types of MCs, right? Even with the episode with her retracting back and gaslighting herself, man. Because when she saw something that was important to her, no fucking hesitation, bro. I've seen so many people hesitate and the argument is, oh, they're a child, they're this. Like there's so much reason why they hesitated. They wrote in her hesitation too. When your mom came up, she's like, no, that's not okay. She's like, I can't kill nobody. Oh yeah, and they then, did actually and write then, in her hesitation. And then, and then that's when they hit mom with the music, they hit mom with the light. But Celeta, you yes, have to understand, did. she hit her with the, and then she, you can see her eyes, the whole, If that moment didn't happen, break, she yeah. wouldn't have been able to prepare, she wouldn't have been prepared to save her, Thank save you. Uh, Miss Marion, by, by the way. Poor her mother prepared much. her for this. And unfortunately, but fortunately, what just happened is Miss Marion, her, she was not prepared for this. Prepared. That's why this girl showed up and said, didn't your mother teach you? Like that's her thought process. Didn't and to fuck that girl up. Probably no, her mother didn't teach her. No, she was displaying motherless behavior and just running up on these people. Her mama didn't teach her, so she's like, me and Ariel are gonna spank you and really show you what's good, disgusting ass Earthians. This is one time I was against the Earthians. I'm usually riding with them, but I'm, I'm with the Mercurian though. I'm not with the Spatians, I'm not with the Earthians, but I just ride with the witch. I think space don't have a lot of materials, so somehow they put an ammunition embargo. Like, no one's supposed to No, 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 you're, they, it's polluted. So, it's a simple understanding, things in space, uh, if it hits a certain speed, it's always gonna go that speed and you can't have that in space. So like them using like these shells, like physical shells, they don't stop. You shoot and if there's not enough force to stop those bullets, like you don't just stop until the gun them. Just imagine that bitch just shooting forever until at it hits enough speed. At that speed until it hits enough stuff that it just finally stops or it lands so on the So someone's planet. gonna be minding their own fucking business in space and the bullet just comes. They were, the they were showing the casings, at a range. exactly. They were showing the casings as the pollution. But I was like, oh, y'all do y'all being nice about it. Because That's how you said you polluted our earth. Now we're going to do the same thing to your space. Yeah, Got it's it. Crazy, bro. Got it. It's crazy, bro. <laughs>
I have to assume it's probably more practical too, or cheaper, or whatever the, the, the reason is. That has to be a reason why they used it, but I'm not gonna overthink that. Fantastic episode. I'm looking forward to what they do with uh, with the characters next time, because this is a turn and a, and a part in a relationship that could not have expected, but it makes sense. I am here for it. I'm here yo, for it. Can we kill his daddy on X? Oh, setup, we didn't even talk about setup, that. Yo, nah. the setup. Listen, honestly, and I'm going. This is where I'm going to say my fucked up shit. I don't feel bad for Dad dying amidst his own plan, using his own Gundams, given or g using his own mobile suits. Live by the sword, given died it, by the sword. Live by the sword, died by the sword. He gave his machines to other people to come sneak this man in full circle. His son don't know that their machines are being used to sneak people in conjunction with the Earthian Gundams and the other mobile suits. This whole plan could have been way worse if that one other. The random fat nigga that was making fun of wasn't like something weird's going on here. We're gonna mobilize early. We just gonna move early. Everybody, and the good thing about this show that I love the writing is whenever there's like some weird shit going on, people do the logical thing. The son, uh, the, the adopted one was like, he said two hours. He's like, nah, fuck him. We're gonna go right now. We out there. He wants us to wait two hours. That one look could close. We just gonna go right now. If he dies, he dies. I don't really owe him no loyalty. This other dude sees some weird shit's going on and instead he's like, whoa, this is what we're supposed to do. This a protocol. He's like, now nah, we're gonna move early just in case. Something's weird going on here. We just gonna move and they, they pull up right now. I don't feel bad for the father, but I like his story. I feel bad for the son. Uh, I feel that's exactly what I, I feel bad for the son. And no matter what you want to say about a person, there is there, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm just saying there was a redeeming part where after all that, he confirmed his son was alive and he was happy. Yeah. So, like, you know, when someone's a monster all the way around, they don't give a fuck about anything. And I can't say that about this man. He dared care about his son. I also got the confusion cleared because we were like, yo, did he uh, did he send his son out? We were trying to figure out what was doing. Yeah, no, the son, son was went, missing. Went, yeah, yeah, son went off the went radar off and he was phone. actively concerned and fucking people up. Like, yo, where's my son? And got caught up in his own dad's plan. Yeah. Wow, bro. Thanks for watching. We post our reactions early on Patreon, including series that never see a light of day on YouTube. Check out the schedule for a list of that. It's in the description of this video. Hit the bell for notifications. If you see us on your homepage, click on those videos. If you leave a comment down below, make sure you drop a timestamp so we know what the hell you're talking about. All right, until next time, Rock D. Lee. Rock Nasty. Out. As always, thanks for supporting this channel. If you don't know, we do have a Patreon, and it's free to join. You can stay updated, suggest content, or vote on polls. If you're interested in our uncut and early reactions to anime, K-drama, Western shows, and movie reactions, which include exclusive reactions not found on YouTube, you can join the upper tiers on Patreon, or you can stick with the edited content right here on YouTube. We got your boy Rock Lee reactions also in the description of this video. Until next time, I'm out.